Sometimes it feels like time is going by too fast. It's almost October and I've barely done any of the things that I wanted to do. What happened to getting back into shape? What happened to working on this podcast or trying to read more? I just didn't seem to have enough time. But where did all the time go? Other people don't seem to have this problem. So I must be doing something wrong. I'm Daniel Lamb, and this is Inner Monkey. I'm at work nine hours every day, and my commute is about an hour each way. Assuming I sleep for eight hours, that still leaves five hours every day, plus the weekends. That's a decent chunk of time, and more than enough to do at least one of the things that I wanted to. But when I get off work, I'm pretty exhausted. My inner monkey can't wait to get home so we can relax and just melt into my couch. We just want to forget everything and lose ourselves in a world where the problems belong to someone else and their consequences can't affect us. I've thought about why this is, why my inner monkey has this urge to get lost in fantasies. And I think it's because he finds work stressful and filled with anxieties. Since I recently started a new job, every time my manager calls me in for an impromptu meeting, my inner monkey, however irrational, has a mini panic attack because he's absolutely sure this time I'm about to be fired. In my old job, my inner monkey didn't have this fear. I was pretty confident in my abilities, so I was always trying to position myself for that next promotion. But fear of missing out on that promotion was always lurking around the corner. All this fear and panic eventually made my inner monkey a little afraid of what might happen next. When I was frightened as a child, I would run to my bed and hide under the covers. I believed, or maybe I just hoped, that if I couldn't see the monsters, they wouldn't exist. I know now that that was a silly thing to do, but my inner monkey still thinks this way. When I get lost in a world that isn't mine, whether it's fiction, sports, or a video game, my inner monkey is distracted from reality, and that's his version of hiding under the covers. That's why he wants to go home as soon as the workday is over. He doesn't want any more surprises. He wants to hide in activities he's familiar with. But if all he needs is a good distraction and no unwanted surprises, there are actually a lot of other things that would make him just as happy. I know some people who find going for a long run calming, even though for me and my inner monkey, it seems like work. But these people don't look more stressed afterwards. If anything, they actually seem more relaxed. And I think that's because, while running is more work than, say, sitting on the couch, their inner monkey is distracted and he isn't freaking out anymore. They've managed to teach their inner monkey that their runs are a safe place where unwanted surprises won't find them. But even though I know that, when I think about working out myself, I can feel my inner monkey squirming around in my mind. He thinks those people are just weird, and none of this applies to us. They are special snowflakes, and that workout garbage, it's not for us. If I want my inner monkey to go along with what I want, I need to prove to him that what I want is safe. And the best way to do that is by showing him. I need to put myself in whatever situation he's afraid of so that he can see that no harm comes to me. And slowly, over time, he'll let his guard down and accept that it's safe. So if it's just a matter of slowly getting him used to it, the question now is, what do I want to spend my time on? At the moment, I think I want to focus on my personal goals. I want to get into shape, to read more, and to work on this podcast. But if I want to prioritize having fun with my friends or playing video games, that should be perfectly okay too. It's less about the specific choices I'm making, and more about making sure I'm the one making the choice, and that I'm not allowing my inner monkey to just do whatever he wants. That being said, I think it's important to keep asking myself, is this how I want to spend my time? While I shouldn't feel guilty about having fun or enjoying myself, I do need to be honest with myself about what's important to me. Is there something else I'd rather be doing? Will future me wish I had done something else? I only have five hours every day to do the things that I want, and I think time is a valuable resource that is often overlooked. It's easy to value money. I love getting a good deal as much as the next person, but I can always earn more money. What I can't get more of is time. And once it's gone, it's gone forever. So I need to convince my inner monkey 
that he can be happy doing the things that matter to me so I can live the life I want to live. Okay, so I've been trying to convince my inner monkey for a while now, and so far, it seems to be working. Making this podcast is definitely work, a lot more than I expected, actually, but it's also been able to distract my inner monkey in a similar way to how watching TV used to. And that really surprised me. I thought there would be no way that I could come home from work and then work some more. And I'm talking another two to four hours every night. It's definitely a little counterintuitive. But for me, at least, it seems to be working. And I hope it works for you, too. Thanks for listening.